one of the craziest experiences you had at Simeon. Man. Hey, look, I was <laughs> always like a, a a cool dude, like, you know what I'm saying? I messed with everybody, so, like, I used to do stuff like, I'd be walking down the hall though, with my uh, shirt up, rubbing my belly and shit. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Oh, I tell the girls, like, man, come here. You know you want to rub on my belly. Just be <laughs> fucking around and see, just having fun. Yeah. And then, like, man, shit, I saw a lot of weed in high school, boy. Yeah, excuse me, come to class messed up. Nah, I ain't smoke weed like that in high school. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I stayed in the lunchroom, though, for the Super Donuts and the Pieces, though. <laughs> and the Sprite remix is out the machine. <laughs> on my soul, boy. <laughs> them bitches on point, you hear me? Yeah. To this day when I see them in the top, like, man, I remember them. All the lunch from good. Yeah, okay. But, like, shit, I used to, like, uh, shit, high school, man, we did damn near whatever the fuck we wanted to do. Right. Me and my little clique, man, we had a clique called the 6-5 mob. Okay. Was that, like, just like a group of guys? Was it like some rappers, football players, or just like a mixture? Yeah, a group of guys. Okay. And it was like, see, though, people from different parts of the city just linked up. Okay. And it was just, just doing the, whatever we wanted to do when we wanted to do it. To the point, like, our senior, half of us got kicked out. The other half did it because we was on the football team. Our coach saved our ass. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but it was just like a, a life learning, though, situation, though, some shit went down. Okay. But you know, like shit, as long as you living though, shit, school never lets out. Shit, we always learning. Right. And so, and so, speaking of fo uh, the football team, did you ever have dreams of like playing college football, going to the NFL? That was my dream to be a football player. Right. I never knew I was gonna be this DJ I'm being or who I am right now. Right. So never expected. Nah, not for real. But a lot of my family members and uh, close friends always remind me, like nigga, you used to say you was gonna be on TV or. Like, man, you're going to be doing this, and now I'm really living this shit. It'd be crazy. But it, it, it's my life, you know? Like, shit, I've been good to people. You know what I'm saying? I pray for things, and I get them. You know what I'm saying? And, like, that when you be good to people, though, man, good things happen to you. Right. You know? I understand. I understand completely. Okay, and so, uh, I believe a friend of yours actually... Um, you know, he said to do a um, a 30-day walk to Washington, D.C. That's my big homie, D. Nash. Salute okay. to him. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Though he walking to represent our city on the violence, man. Yeah. So. He doing it, man. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a very commendable thing to do, yeah. honestly. You know, uh, it's going to be a tough journey, but I'm sure he'll complete it. He doing it. Yeah. So. I always ask every Chicago artist this, why do you think um, the media portrays Chicago the way that it does? It's, it's such a negative, like, man. Man, the media wants you to hear and see what they want you to hear and see. You know what I'm saying? Shit, the world is ran off the media. Like, man, you don't see every time that you turn on that night, it's only telling the bad stuff or the stuff that's going to make the poor people poor and the rich people rich. All right, relax. Facts. Facts. Right. Okay. Okay. And so, how did you um, how did you meet up with Rico Reckless and um, his name was uh, Bill Crane, right? Crane yeah, Bill yeah, Crane. Yeah. So tell us about you know you thinking you know, over Rico and Bill Crane. Okay, Rico, like like man, like Rico from the hood. You know what I'm saying? Like we always don't bother to each other. And then it's like though, once he started going crazy on the music, how he doing? Like, damn, sweaty. You know what I'm saying? We just got to get in the tune. Like, man, shit. Shit, it's just organic. Right. Okay. I fuck with bro. That's bro. Okay, yeah. Bill Crane, Crane, that's my dog. Okay, so who exactly is Bill Crane for those who don't know? Okay. Bill Crane is, like, he got a management, though. He got the, uh, the raw town of uh, Chicago. You know okay. what I'm saying? Though He helps. Uh, people though, you know what I'm saying, though, uh, connect though with each other, you know what I'm saying, he book things though for people, like, look, if you need some cameras or something, you can call Bill Crane, if you need a host for an event, you can call Bill Crane, <laughs> he gonna make it happen, yeah, yeah, though, Bill, my boy, though, I fuck with Bill, right, okay, yeah, cause I see, man, I, um, 
I checked out his Instagram page, man. He with a lot of local, you know, people and big people in Chicago. Just people yeah. just everywhere. So he's yeah. doing his thing. Bill out here. Yeah. Right, okay. Shouts out to Bill and Exclusive 773. That's my big homie, Steve. Right. And so, he the one, though, who connected us, you know what I'm saying? That's how I met Bill, though. Really? Man, from being at the store, I told all of these in there that exclusive. Like, that's like the home base for me, you know what I'm saying? That's somewhere I always go to when I go home. Right. R.I.P. Cap, man. Right. And so, do you remember um, what were you doing at the time, how you found out? Because, like, most of us, like, man. outside, found it on, uh, on the internet, you know. How I media. found out was a phone call because it was the day of the Big Jam. Okay. And um and I had to link up with Herb, you know, because we were finna uh, to go uh, a practice, though, for the show that night at the United Center. And it was, like, a tragic day. Like, man, I got a text, like, that we might not be doing it. And then, though, they like, nah, man, we still gonna link up. So we linked up, and it was just crazy. Like, man, like, the bro couldn't even, though, uh, finish all the songs. You know what I'm saying? Like... Man, we did like man two songs and, and Herb said, man, just cut that off, man. We gone. Yeah. And so like shit, so we was gone. Like shit, we couldn't do it. Like shit, it wasn't right though. Like motherfuckers wasn't uh feeling it. Right, I understand. I understand. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> so correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was July, and you were a trending topic on Twitter. I mean, <laughs> tell us about that trending topic on Twitter. Man. Yeah, I mean like bro, that just come from like. Your grind is never unnoticed. Uh, People is always watching what you think they not watching. Okay. You know, like, that month, I was going crazy on the singles, mixtapes, and I was at a lot of events. The photographers, they had the cameras on me here and there, you know what I'm saying? So, of course, I ain't had no other choice but to be the trending topic. And I'm going to continue being the trending topic because I'm going to keep working, keep grinding, keep connecting people. I'm going to keep making beats. I'm going to keep getting in tune with people. You feel me? All right. Okay. I understand. And so, uh, some of the recent projects you put out, you put out the Jug is Up 2, right? I had the Jug is Up 1. I had the People Choice. Okay. So, what kind of reception you get it online? Were you satisfied with, you know, some of the reviews and some of the reception you... you yeah, I was, with? because, like, because I make it do what I wanted to do, though, when I wanted to do it. Like, I know how to make my stuff, though, get the views it's supposed to get, or, you know what I'm saying? Because, just like with anybody or anything else, you got to invest in your stuff, you got to market your stuff, you got to, you know what I'm saying, have a marketing plan, though, you know what I'm saying, behind anything you do with this shit. Chess, not checkers, right or wrong. Right. Right. You feel me? So, like, so when I say, oh, we finna make this one do numbers. So, I know the things that I need to do to make it do numbers. And I'm gonna make it happen. Right. Okay. Okay, and so, um, also earlier this year, you actually um, met BTY Youngin. And he, and he freestyled for you and G Herbo, correct? Yep. Okay, and I believe that was maybe a, a few days Young. before he died, possibly, or a few No, months. that was actually a couple of months before. Really? We, okay, so I got no, the days We had a show in New Orleans. Okay. And uh, we had seen him at a gas station in his hood. And he like, whoa, boy, that a boy G. Hubba. He like, damn, that meal chicken. <laughs> and we stop and sit, and we look at each other. And I'm like, shit, let's see what he's talking about, bro. And shit, and like he came to the car, and he said, bro, let me spit something for you. I'm like, Herb, I got to record this. He finna go crazy. He like, shit, record it, bro, shit. And he, he spit, like he had bars. Like, I repeat that, man. Like, man, I feel like he'll be going crazy right now. Like, like if the if the, uh, the boy though from my city, though, young pappy was the, mm -hmm. I feel like he'll be going crazy right now, too. But it's messed up, though. You know what I'm saying? It takes for uh, for people to die for them to get so much acknowledgement, though. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah Young Pappy. Um, I'm very familiar with Young Pappy. Yeah. You know, it actually um. He go crazy, yeah. like man. He <laughs> plays some of his shit right now at a party. It's gonna go up anywhere. Yeah, and it seems like um, so, you know, like the artist um, Tay K, the one who's no current yeah. situation. You know, he even mentioned Young Pappy in song the race. Yeah. And so like I heard a, a lot of people in Chicago was like, you know. Was very respected with it. I was like, okay, yeah. appreciate it. They paying homage. It's like, a lot of people, I mean, a lot of people know who Young Pappy, who he is or who he was, but 
it may not be, you know, global, like worldwide, mm -hmm. but now it's like, you know, your music is getting Okay, like, let me say, Chicago artists who hasn't reached that national stage yet, mm -hmm. music is getting heard everywhere, you know, because who would have thought of a young, a young, you know, a young man from Texas would know about young Pat? Yeah. You know? And you, you know, never know how far I could go or, right. you know what I'm saying, or who could reach your music. That's why I tell people don't give up, man, and stay consistent, man. Keep going, though. You could do it.